Hello, I'm Liz Lumley of Finextra, and today I'm speaking to Marion Leslie of Thomson Reuters, and we're going to talk a little bit about pricing and reference data. So I'm going to start off our conversation talking about regulations, and of course, regulations are having a pretty, pretty uh, critical impact on the pricing and reference data industry. So you know, I wonder if you could go through some of the key regulations affecting this marketplace and whether or not there are any uh, sort of common obligations, if any. Sure, well there's clearly a swathe of regulations hitting the market right now. Dodd-Frank, FATCA, Solvency2, EMIR, IFRS, you name it, it's all coming. But there are striking commonalities about them and challenges that they present uh, organisations. So fundamentally, in order to comply with any of these regulations, you need solid, reliable reference data and pricing data, and those are the common factors. And you need this in order to be able to input into your capital adequacy and solvency two models, and ultimately using those to be able to demonstrate your level of exposure um, to risk. So it's fundamental requirements around reference data and pricing that we're finding customers are coming to us constantly asking for help and for partnership around identifying what data can they use, when, how, the provenance of that content, the derivation of that content is all really important because unless you understand what you're putting into your filings, you can't claim to be compliant. So it's all about how can I use, what data can I use and how can I use it? How can I do it efficiently? And ultimately, can you be my reliable, trusted partner to enable me to do it? Because fundamentally, I have to comply. There's not an option to not comply. And non-compliance presents a huge reputational risk for organizations and their boards. So customers really want to help, want our help to be um, compliant, to be efficient in their compliance, and to feel confident that what they're doing is the right thing. So the kinds of things that we're doing is providing transparency around our content, where it comes from, how it's derived, line of sight for pricing, um, pricing of illiquid securities, what benchmarks we've used, access to support for explaining those prices, and fundamentally enabling clients to work through that process to get to a level of confidence around their compliance and regulatory requirements. So you mentioned words like uh, you know, efficiency and, and uh, sort of requirements uh, with, with some of the uh, risk issues. And of course, transparency is, is always a big issue for firms when looking at budgeting for data issues. So why is transparency such a, a big issue for the pricing industry right at the moment? So pricing is required to meet um, regulatory requirements, um, for example, AIFM, around fund valuations, about holdings, in order to be able to demonstrate to regulators that the way you've priced your um, assets is, is correct. And for that reason, um, increasingly, customers are looking for more than one source of price content. And so, and for each of those price contents, they need to be able to commingle them, but also have transparency about where those prices have come from, their relevance, um, how they're derived, and, and access to expertise behind them. And so we have very strong market experts who are doing that pricing and who are able to talk through any individual hand-priced instrument that they have done in order to make sure that customers have the confidence behind the pricing that they're using. In terms of, from a market data vendor perspective, um, the pricing of the content that we supply to our customers is, is a very key point. Um, customers are needing to use this reference data not only for their compliance requirements, but for their day-to-day -day business. And there's a lot of content out there, and customers have a huge range of need for content. And, and our job, I think, is to provide a, a breadth and depth of content that meets, that the, maximizes the opportunity to meet those needs, to enable customers to use it in an enterprise-wide fashion, front to back, all the way through the different departments in their organizations, which gives them consistency and interoperability, regardless of whether that content's delivered to them on a desktop, or on a real-time feed, or in a hot historical feed. So they need to be able to use that content in a consistent way. And the kinds of things that we're seeing is um, desire for enterprise licenses to enable customers to use content in a flexible way, um, consistency and standardization of contracts, 
simplification around billing, pricing around usage requirements, tracking usage and enable customers to actually make the most of the content that they're um, being supplied and then enable them to use it in a flexible way themselves. So an open infrastructure, a flexible infrastructure really enables customers to get the most out of their investment um, and that's how we're partnering with our customer base right now. So of course we've, we've talked about regulations and we've talked about um, cost efficiencies and uh, transparency. So why don't we go into a bit of a, a fun question and I'm going to ask you to really take out your crystal ball and look about five years in the future. Where, where do you see the pricing and reference data industry going uh, five years from now? So clearly customers are going to need ways of managing content and deriving value from content as ever more content becomes available in our new big data world. So I think what we're looking at is an ability to partner with customers to enable them to take a wide range of content from us and from themselves and other niche partners and providers and co-mingle that in a flexible and open environment and then run analytics and derived values off of that to enable them to gain competitive advantage. I think it's going to be about serving the enterprise in a flexible and open way and with the ability to interoperate content and co-mingle content in an environment that enables a customer to gain benefit that they wouldn't be able to have more in point-to-point -point solutions themselves. So I think that's what we'll be looking at.